Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, that's Bob. <laughs> that's I'm Carrie. <laughs> and this is Life Redesigned. There was a gentle nudge I gave her because she said she was going to handle the intro. As I fall. <laughs> so one of the biggest questions that we get asked all the time besides why doesn't Carrie speak more in videos? Ugh. Uh, and Give don't even me get her, a flipping break. Don't okay? even get her going. One of the biggest questions we get asked is, hey guys, how do you afford... Hey guys. Yeah, that's what they say. That's the kids talk. They oh. say, hey guys, how do you afford RV life? And, uh, well, sometimes we go, well, that's a little bit personal, but we realize that not too many people are answering the question honestly. And uh, since that's what this channel is all about, is full transparency, we're going to explain to you how we afford this RV life. Carrie's going to read from the Book of Knowledge and we'll address each topic as we go. Ready? Fire away! Number one, full-time remote work. Yeah, this is kind of the easiest way we afford it, so, I, well, I have a job. Um, I work full-time, uh, that's pretty much uh, it, that's what I do. Um, as we've covered a few times uh, in videos, if you see us out in an RV park and I wave and I'm kind of antisocial, one, I am antisocial, but two, it's because I'm on a work break and I need to get back to work because that's what funds a good majority of what we do. Mm -hmm. Next one. YouTube money. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's get down to, I've heard everything from YouTube ad revenue as being minuscule um, down to non-existent is usually a bunch of BS. Um, YouTube ad revenue for us and our small channel um, is somewhere between $900 to $1,500 a month. And that's just ad revenue, it's those ads at the beginning. Um, some may say that that's a lot of money, some people may not feel that way. We put out eight videos a month, you do the math, the shooting, the editing, the equipment. Um, I think we're kind of at a break even point. Um, but it is something that does fund places like this. This is how we're able to stay here, which mm -hmm. is uh, today we are in Myrtle Beach Travel Park and uh, we like it here except for the no mail thing which i've talked about before um, but it does cost us roughly about twelve hundred dollars a month to be here um, in the off season so but now if one doesn't have a full-time remote job or youtube money yeah the alternative is work camping so this is an interesting thing we don't at this point do work camping but this no. is a great way to afford the RV life and we've actually been uh, presented with a couple of opportunities to do this. This is where you work at an RV resort or a campground or state park or a Corps of Engineers park um, in exchange for a full hookup site and a small salary. Uh, we're not at that point that we want to do that but uh, the, as the offers came in it was nice to see and it is a great way if you don't have one or two yep. which the majority of these don't um, and that's okay, but that's a great way to supplement all Absolutely. this stuff. All right, limiting our dining out. Oh yeah, that, the biggest sucker of budgets is going out to eat in breweries. You know, when all these YouTube <laughs> people show them all at the bars and all at the breweries, and believe me, if you did that, you'd be broke quick. Mm. Um, and that's probably why you see the state of YouTube being the way it is uh, because they need to be able to afford all those fancy drinks um, we don't do that uh, very seldom do we go out to eat in fact when we sold our house our realtor hello megan gave us a stockpile of gift cards to yeah. different restaurants and fast food places and whatever we still have those because i think we've only used a couple of them we have i believe we have one left but but by limiting our <coughs> dining to yeah. basically just our diet and we predominantly run a carnivore keto diet yeah. um, it avoids all that extra expense we avoid tourist traps this is a big one. So we have stayed in such great places as Gatlinburg. We've stayed in Branson, Missouri. Uh, here, even in Myrtle Beach, um, we just don't do all the touristy stuff. One, because we've probably done it before when we were on vacation. And two, um, because we don't have the money to spend, uh, you know, $1,000 a day riding the big sky wheel. No, not only that, though, we always, if you know us at all, we always look for the non touristy things to do like 
we're big adventures as yeah. far as hiking goes. Um, we love here. One of the biggest things for us is just being able to walk for miles on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, Myrtle Beach is beautiful for that. We stay off the strip. We tend to stay up on this section or in North Myrtle Beach yep. um, where we can just walk for miles and be left alone. And it's just great. Um, there's a lot of hiking trails. We use all trails, which is a great way mm -hmm. to find free hikes and stuff like that. We like to do something a little bit different, and we kind of like to see what the locals experience versus what's designated for tourists. Exactly. And what's the next one, Carrie? Again, we scaled back on everything, and a year plus later, we're still doing it. We scale back on the amount of clothes that we buy, the amount of money we spend on just nonsense, uh, because after a while, you can only fit so much <laughs> inside an RV. Um, and the biggest thing, too, scaling back. We've scaled back on medications. Yeah. Our diet has changed. We don't. We no longer take acetaminophen. We no longer take ibuprofen. Uh, antacids are gone. All these things that we used to have to carry is kind of like an emergency kit with us. We no longer need. Uh, but the big one, like you said, just stuff. Just scaling back, get rid of all that stuff. It's amazing how much money you save when you're not spending it to chase something. Yeah. And that's a, that's a big thing right there. Sure is. And what's the last one on the list, Gary? Okay, Thousand Trails. Thousand Trails. <laughs> so Thousand Trails, we paid up front, I think roughly 13,000. We've covered this in budget videos before. We pay $13,000 up front for the membership and we pay roughly 2,000 a year for the dues for both Thousand Trails and Encore, which is one system. Um, and that brings our, if we spend every day in the system, it brings our camping down to like three to five dollars a night. We could not afford this lifestyle if it wasn't for Thousand Trails. Most uh, yes, definitely. We could boondock and we could do all kinds of different things, but you have to go back and see number one and number two. I'm not that person. I need to be connected. I need power. I need whatever. I need to have stability in order to do my job. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the second part, that YouTube, you know, that minuscule money that everybody talks about, um, that's a game changer for us. Um, and we need to be connected in order to get these videos up. Um, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, yep. You know, but Thousand Trails has been integral in our plan of attack and how we do this. Carrie and I like to save up money and then we'll splurge on this once in a while. Um, there's just times where you just don't want to be in a Thousand Trails park because there isn't one somewhere. But the majority of places that we stay, mm -hmm. Thousand Trails. In fact, we're excited because when we leave here, we're checking out two more in North Carolina that are supposedly great options for us and what we want to do. So yeah, it really depends on your on how you do things, right? But that's basically it. I, not a long format video, but that is basically how we afford this. And I, I love to make this big, long, drawn out speech, uh, but we do want to thank Connectin for sponsoring our channel. They are the official internet provider of Life Redesign, and they are another factor as to how we're able to afford this lifestyle because we're not spending hundreds of dollars anymore on nine different internet companies. We have it all in one, and that's we're not being paid to say that. We're just pointing out the little things that we've been able to do, yeah. and, and finding companies like that have been a big thing as far as consolidating our spending and stuff like that. If you have a way that you like to share with the community about how you save money and how you're able to afford your full-time lifestyle for the RV life, let us know in the comments below. If you disagree with anything, take it up with her. I'm done with the comments. She's going to take them over from now on. Until Be careful. Next time, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this has been Life Redesigned.